presentation is mine. Um, and the last one is the random name generator, so I'm not going really, to really randomly generate my own name. And what I want to talk about is anytime, anywhere learning and the possibilities that we can go forward now. We've got the technology and uh, where we can go. My big belief is that students and as well as adults, we learn best when we want to learn and when we can take ownership of our learning ourselves. Uh, not when we're told to learn, not when we have to learn, but if actually we do not follow our back, then we learn so much more and you know, it's a lot more powerful. So that's what, that's what it's about. A lot of these things are possibilities to go forward in the future. Um, some thoughts, some concepts, and things that you think, well, yeah, I can do that in my school, I can do that in my department, in my classroom. <coughs> the idea came from a talk that I was in with the, the CEO, Julie Young, of the Florida Virtual School at the SSAT National Conference a couple of years back. And the Florida Virtual School is, as what it says, there's no building, there's no site, it is a, it is a completely virtual school where students sign up for courses. Uh, the website's on there if you want to find out more about it. And everything is run virtually. And there are thousands and thousands of students. And they're, they're able to access that by their technology at home. And if that's happening there, then why, you know, why can't that happen here? And yes, we're open as a school between the, you know, the rough hours of 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock every day, but why can't, that, why can't we create a thirst for learning with our students and actually extend the learning possibilities far beyond the, the walls of our classroom and far beyond the actual timings of our, of our normal school day? I think it all hinges on virtual learning environments and most schools now have VLEs in place and they're easily accessible and students have got the hang of them. They know what they are, you, you, you talk to a student about VLE, they know what it is and they're fairly comfortable with it. And I think everything that I'm about to, about to show you on the presentation is underpinned by the VLE. It can be proper VLE, it can, it can be accessed from home and there are lots of different VLEs. We use Moodle here at uh, Woodham but there are lots of other ones around. Uh, they was talking about Frog at Cramington. They all do um, a similar job, but I think it, it all comes back to, you know, to get a, you know, a hinge on, on, on the virtual learning environment. Social media, uh, it's got a bad name, it's certainly got a bad, even, even worse name in education, and I wrote a blog post on it about the, you know, dispelling the myths of social media, that uh, social media is bad news in education. We've all probably sat there as a teacher and watched a program at night and thought, oh, that, that would be great for my class, that would be perfect. And I'm starting to do that now when I'm looking on Twitter or on the internet and I'm seeing articles. Uh, I'm a PE teacher and over the summer it was an absolute godsend that the BBC were putting so many articles out about the Olympics. And it was, it was amazing for, for, for my students about technology, about diet, about training, whatever it was. There were some fantastic articles. Wouldn't it be great if we had um, a Twitter account or a Facebook account linked to my PE class, linked to my PE department, that all my students were following. So when I saw that article, I could retweet it immediately and they can then see that on Mac. I'm not having to wait till the next day or the next week to show. I can retweet it straight away, they can see that. And we're given access to digital content that we weren't able to before. Um, written by professionals, written by the BBC, etc. Et this next one is a, is a completely new uh, concept and one that I want to just briefly explore with you tonight. Home support, I, I, I had typed it on call until last night when I wanted to change it because on call has certain connotations within a lot of schools about, about what a teacher does. Basically, the idea is that if there's four or five unit apartments, it may be that one night per week you are the designated home support teacher on the other end of a Twitter feed or a Facebook feed or a forum. And between six and seven o'clock or whatever, whatever hours you choose, you may be the person, you may be a member of staff who can answer queries, can answer um, questions by students. And wouldn't that also be great if that was potentially over a weekend and you, you had maybe even a, a pastoral support? Um, you know, and I think that's certainly something that, that is there to explore and very easy to set up. Yes, people are giving their time up, but we're looking for an hour, maybe an hour, you know, once a week or over, over in a rotor. And the power that would give you, know, you are, to be able to speak to students, they'll be able to you know, answer any, ask any questions to you, and you can do that from home is you know, be a great way. And the technology we've got now supports that from mobile phones, laptops, iPads, wherever it is, very easy to sell. No, 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 no technology, uh, or certainly no hardware needed uh, other than what the students have already got. Student forums. Forums are available in most VLEs and you can set them up for free on the internet as well with lots of different websites. And what the, the, the reason forums are good is it, it promotes discussion. You can, as a, as a teacher, you can set a, a forum post uh, about a topic you are doing and it then creates a lot of discussion so students can be commenting on it. And the, the, the great thing about forums is it shows every post under, under, underneath. So it's not like an instant message or, 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 or an email where nobody can see what else is being put. 
You've got all these posts, like our Twitter feed on there, that are sort of dropping in, and that students can be actually talking to each other. And one of the big, one of the big things I, I, I would like to say, certainly in this concept, is that it's run by your own students. If you've got GCSE kids, they can be actually running and moderating these forums for key stage three students. They can be the ones that actually say, yes, this is this, or this is how this works, or actually you need to look at this website. And I think that's a really powerful tool, and certainly if you are looking for um, outside people coming in to, uh, to look at evidence of how your students are teaching, and also how your students are learning, the fact that they are teaching younger students, uh, this is going on on an evening on a weekend, again, very easy to set up, and your GCSE students will probably build that responsibility of being a little mini teacher and helping out your key stage three students. The last one is, would have been pie in the sky to a few years ago, but the, the realms of uh, possibility now, uh, we, we're always pushing these barriers all the time. And I think this has been really exciting to explore. Not all the time, but maybe around uh, GCSE time, around exams, and something that we can actually do now to, 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 to um, extend the learning hours, which is what I was saying at the, at the top of the presentation. The idea here is, uh, is that you would create a lesson uh, using Screener, Camtasia, Explain Everything, those are typical um, screencast software pieces, like what our virtual presentations were done on uh, earlier. And it means you can actually record a lesson, you can then submit it to your, submit it to your VLA at a certain time, and you can say to your students, right, there will be a lesson, uh, Sunday evening at six o'clock, you know, they've got an exam Monday morning, uh, Sunday evening at six o'clock, I will be uploading the lesson at six o'clock, and you can then go on, you can view it. It will be as a video file, they can stop it, they can pause it, they can rewind it, they can fast forward it. All the things that they wouldn't normally be able to do in a normal lesson. You know, if they want to go for, you know, to go for a drink, have a little break, they can come back to it. And with, you, know, you would be there as a teacher on the end of your communication tool with your students, whether that's Twitter, your forum, Facebook, instant message, email. And again, the students could be learning from you, they could be watching your presentation, and you're there to answer any questions at the same time. And I think you get that, that's got huge possibilities as we go forward. And lastly, to wrap up, because I'm out of time now, is that I think that we've all got the technology at our fingertips now, and I think it's about embracing the technology, moving forward, and trying to create that climate of anytime, anywhere learning in our students, uh, moving forward so that they become more independent learners, and then you know, they all benefit from that in the classroom as we move forward, because they are you know, the students of the digital generation. Okay, thank you.